manufacturers save time, cut costs, reduce risk, and do that all through a quality management system. Thank you again for joining us today. We're really happy uh, to have a good attendance today. And I want to just introduce the speakers for today. First, myself, my name is Mark Bentz. I'm the account executive with Qualtrics in the manufacturing field specifically. And just to talk to you a little bit, very briefly about who Qualtrics is, we are an all-in-one compliance management solution. As an organization, we do fall under ISO 9001-2015. We finished that 2015 version of the certification last August. As a company, we were actually founded in 1993 and we're actually headquartered in Blacksburg, Virginia. So if you're familiar with uh, college football at all, we are right down the street from Virginia Tech University, which also interestingly enough, Southwestern Virginia is actually quite a big technology hub. And we've actually been awarded a few times locally uh, for being standout in the technical field. And one statistic that we're very proud of here at Qualtrics is that we actually have a 97% customer renewal rate. So people that do purchase Qualtrics and use Qualtrics, I'm way very happy with the solution and how it helps them really reduce the compliance burden. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll get this kicked off and I'm gonna turn it over to Katie Burkle, who is our business development manager. We'll take you through the bulk of the presentation. Take it away, Katie. Thanks, Mark. Hi, everyone. Um, and th as Mark said, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm going to be presenting today kind of on the main areas that you all hopefully signed up for this webinar to learn a little bit more about um, how using a quality management system can ultimately help with better visibility, increased efficiencies, increased accountability, and overall decrease some risk. Um, so those will be kind of the themes we're talking about today. Many of these bullets um, that we're talking about are critical in accreditation and certification, and that's why Qualtrics as an organization also specializes in these areas of quality specifically. We assist in making things like audit prep and managing certifications and accreditations a lot easier um, for customers that fall into a wide variety of different standards, ISO 9001, 14001, 13485, 17025, OSHA, FDA, sort of whatever compliance and accreditations you're under, um, hopefully, you know, these five things are resonating with you and hopefully why you signed up today. So when looking at a quality management system or considering moving over to an electronic QMS, the technology should have some core functionality to inspire truly kind of that culture of continuous improvement. Um, and these areas of functionality should include things like controlling your documents um, and having a control process for document management, the ability to automate your processes through configurable workflows, um, tracking competencies and awareness with automated tasks, tests and trainings, um, and last, being able to have clear visibility into your quality management system through reporting. All of these things tie directly into being able to address sort of the audit preparation that you're probably going through for some of those accreditations like we mentioned. Um, the, the goal with the kind of the core functionality of a QMS, uh, an electronic QMS and Qualtrics obviously as well is with each of these features, you're giving yourself a little bit better visibility, um, having increased efficiencies, having increased accountability and ultimately decreasing risk to help you prepare more effectively for audits, both internal and external. So the first piece that I want to talk about today um, is the document management component. Um, this is one that we hear a lot of questions about when going over to an electronic QMS system. And the goal of a document management portion is to simplify the organization and give better access um, and updating of processes to the document control portion. Um, as I'm sure most people on here today are familiar if they are under some sort of ISO accreditation, document management is a really important piece of managing all accreditations. So some of the benefits that kind of in are included with having a good document management leg of a quality management system is maintaining up-to-date data and having it be accurate across your organization. So by always using the most up-to-date version of a document, whether you're in a lab or you're within the quality department or on a manufacturing shop floor, it's important to note that you're going to want to make sure that your QMS gives you the ability to access both the most recent version, potentially historical versions, and make sure that everyone has the right data. 
managing compliance with role-based actions is a very critical piece, especially in large manufacturing facilities with a wide variety of folks sort of engaging in your quality, whether you're you know, the director of operations down to a, a floor worker, like I mentioned before, you need to be able to reference procedural information for safety or for the particular role or function you're, you're filling that day. So it's important to be able to kind of have different people have different actions that they're able to take within a system. Easily findable documents that you need in a central location. Um, I mean, you know, we work with tons of organizations that have multiple locations or offices. Um, sometimes in big manufacturers, people across a giant piece of property from each other. So having the ability to keep everything up to date in one centralized system really brings that culture of quality top of mind and keeps everyone on the same page. So you're not worried that you didn't get that printed document over to another building, um, you know, especially if it was raining the way it was here in Blacksburg today, you wouldn't want to walk that across the street. So um, having that centralized location is critical. Also, you want to make sure, obviously, you meet document control requirements, uh, especially in the eyes of an auditor. That's pretty uh, self-explanatory, but we all know how taxing audits can be in being able to have your system um, be configured in a way that your auditor trusts the data and can easily find what they need goes a really long way. And uh, oops, sorry about that. We obviously all want to kind of keep the auditors uh, in the loop, but you know, get them out the door as quickly as possible as well. Um, and lastly, receiving automated alerts is a big component within Qualtrics because you know when you're releasing new revisions of a document, um, you want to be able to trigger out the necessary parties to take an acknowledgement test or some sort of test on proficiency based on that document or procedure and keep everyone abreast of what's happening. Going back to especially if you have multiple locations or a decentralized organization, um, receiving those alerts can help to minimize, you know, Outlook calendar reminders or Excel documents with dates cross-referencing a million different things. So really uh, making sure that, that process is automated for you goes a long way with your document control as well. So here we show you on the right sort of a diagram of what a document lifecycle could look like and obviously within Qualtrics specifically, but in any, you know, uh, electronic QMS, you want to be able to look for these types of processes. So what is the document control lifecycle? It's obviously just the process that your document could go through. For example, if you're releasing, um, you know, an SOP for within your organization, it gets created, it can go through edit cycles, approval processes, it can be sent back and rejected if there's, uh, you know, an error, um, ultimately published or retired um, down, down the line. So it gives you better visibility, as the slide says, but with a system like this, you're always able to know the status of a document or who is responsible for the document and be able to see the full audit trail of the edits, the approvals, the reviews, um, which really gives your high-level executives that level of visibility that with a paper, a paper system or some sort of internal tool they might not otherwise have. It also creates increased efficiencies. So especially if you have a manual paper-based process and you know, I'm not sure for the folks we have on if they have that or something else, but um, replaces those filing cabinets and the folders with past revisions and edit tracking you might be doing in Excel. So with a manual system, significant time is used performing administrative tasks like going to someone's office and tracking down where that paper copy went and maintaining those paper records. It also can take things like space um, and, and those sort of costs that are calculated in that being able to have an electronic system eliminates the the, the, the cost of. Um, so being able with Qualtrics to drag and drop documents directly into folders and inherit certain properties and control processes really helps in time waste it, waste reduction and having it f flow through these cycles with the necessary alerts really helps with that uh, level of efficiency that especially high level executives tend to appreciate. Um, we all know quality managers appreciate it, but it's sometimes getting the higher level execs to realize I'll bother you less if you just do this when I get it to you in the alerts. In, you know, that ties directly into increased accountability. So because this process is fully automated, participating individuals will receive inbox or email notifications, making sure that they're completing the things in a timely manner and in the correct order as well. 
ultimately decrease, decreasing risk um, is something that all organizations are looking to do and could be arguably one of the most important. And by having a system like this in place, you're lessening the risk of having a major or minor finding during an audit, um, specifically around document control processes. And in the manufacturing space, you know, you're also uh, decreasing the risk of having someone using an out-of-date SOP or um, a drawing or something that ultimately could result in loss of productivity um, or even product down the line. So I wanted to give you guys a quick screenshot of what um, the document management portion and of the Qualtrack system looks like. This is really the document properties specifically, but this shows things like revision history, the standards associated to a particular document, the expiration cycle of a document, the document approver and the manager. So all really critical business data is stored and tied directly to every single document within the system. So if anyone on this call, and if I had a Pull system, I would probably use it, but is using a paper based system or something where you're not able to track these changes. I'm sure there's a lot of time spent in other convoluted ways to try and keep track of um, these items. And having it all just done electronically for you on the back end can again be a huge time and, and time saver and risk mitigator as well. So I want to transition a little bit and talk about our test and training management and we'll kind of tie everything back together at the end but tracking competency and awareness uh, through something like our testing and training management section of the product is another feature that you know is really important in an electronic QMS or at least you know we think so <laughs> through features you know like this one you can ensure that your employee trainings are effective and are done in the most efficient way having just document control isn't quite enough when you're really looking at an overall quality system so you can't show you know an auditor that an employee understands a document or has acknowledged that they've read it without having both of these components so we really look at this as tying all the quality components together so the functionality itself makes testing and training easier with automatic reminders. Um, I know we talk to quality managers every day who tell us they have Outlook calendar reminders to make sure they go in and alert people of things um, or giant Excel documents they use to manage and make sure nobody falls through the cracks. Um, so this you know, can take care of that for you and take that off your plate. You can also assign role-based trainings across your organization. So what your C-level executives needs to know about quality you know, for your 9001 audit and the changes in 2015 is going to be very different than your line workers, for example. So being able to specify that out based on role um, is something that is a great feature of all of Qualtrics, but very valuable in testing and training as well. Gaining visibility and insight into performance, so tracking pass fails or seeing the number of attempts before completion of a test or uh, understanding of a document is really important for that area of continuous improvement and again bringing that to the forefront and just giving visibility to an area of the business you might not have had previously to ultimately reduce the risk of having someone who isn't up to speed on a particular area of the business out in the manufacturing floor, for example. Um, access to real-time training data, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, I'll kind of show you something similar on the next slide, but, and lastly, being able to prove employees' effectiveness with reports like the ones I'll show you in a second um, are important for not just your business, but for audit as well. So here on the left, you'll see a snapshot of an example of a calibration test that you could send out to um, folks within your organization. On the right, you can see a report that runs actually within Qualtrics that shows what trainings have been completed, what's left, or who doesn't need particular trainings in a really cool and clean matrix format. Um, this is a really great snapshot into your organization. And again, I talk about C-level executives, but being able to show them this and have them get some high-level insight without needing to be down in the weeds needs um, and having this happen automatically upon their completion versus you having to an update an Excel document is uh, a feature that a lot of folks really enjoy. So beyond what we've already talked about in regards to training, it's also worth noting that the oversight with email alerts for managers, notifications for employees when they have something coming up for due or that's going to expire soon is critical in maintaining the compliance to keep you from having unexpected shutdowns or being caught off guard when someone hasn't completed a test or training during audit. So we find this to, again to be a really important component of that overall quality management piece. 
The last main kind of section of the product uh, for Qualtrics and for electronic QMS is what we call process management or workflows. Um, so these are your corrective actions, your CARs, um, internal audit processes, proficiency testing, validation or vendor approvals. But it doesn't just have to be those things. It really is any process that can be flow charted. So the ability to do this within a quality management system is incredibly powerful and something we hear a really positive feedback from our customers every day on because it takes your compliance beyond documents and really into overall business compliance for improved visibility and efficiencies um, while also keeping them within the realm of accreditation. So making sure that those are done in an effective manner and tied to your documents as needed and referencing back to things uh, like documents. So ultimately increasing efficiency and reducing time waste uh, through automated processes. At Qualtrics, we give you the ability to jumpstart your implementation as well with best in class workflows right out of the box, which I'll talk a little bit more about, you know, before I go to the next slide. But we have, uh, as uh, Mark said, uh, 25 years of experience in this industry and being able to take that knowledge from our customer base and turn it over to our future customers is something we're really excited about. You also are able to gain visibility of processes, including where you might have some gaps or some bottlenecks. So this, again, is the level of visibility that allows organizations to improve that overall culture of quality while reducing risk for executives or people or your quality manager who ultimately can say, I'm noticing there's trends here or we're having lack of process there. As Mark also mentioned, we ourselves are ISO 9001 compliant, so we use our own product, obviously, but a lot of our processes are around uh, done through workflows to keep us uh, transparent and in the loop with what's happening within the organization. We also give you um, flexibility throughout the tool. Um, and, and I like the word embrace there because we truly do embrace it because not only do you have the ability to use our best in class workflows um, or take from a knowledge base in a library of other uh, users of Qualtrics and how they've used the system, but you can also take anything within your organization that you can flow or process chart out and put it into the system as something that can be automated. So outside of even your you know, manufacturing um, floor or your quality department, you can have HR flows or personnel flows and things like that, IT. Um, so really we've seen it be used in a really broad range of ways. Running reports on active and past processes. Sounds silly, but no more needing to go office to office to see where that document you need signed was. You can see all of that within Qualtrics and ping the person necessary to keep things flowing, keep things moving efficiently. Um, again, if I had a polling tool, I bet many of you, especially in the quality manage manager or uh, QA department, have had to go and find those documents and say, hey, I need this signed, or after you're done with it, it needs to go you know, down the hall, um, and that eliminates that allows it to be electronic. That ties in obviously to consistently managing your processes. So no more question around what is our process when there's a corrective action or what is it look like for one department to prepare for internal audit versus another. They can be processes created within the system that you can give different people privileges to start. So I mentioned the best in class workflows for what we consider our manufacturing segment. Um, we use manufacturing here at Qualtrics very, very broadly. So we have customers who make metal coatings, injection molding, chemical manufacturing, uh, polymers and resins, cosmetics, food, um, medical device, a, a whole wide range. So that, that to us is kind of all under manufacturing. Um, but what we provide is the five best in class for that space are internal audit, corrective action, management review, supplier vendor approval, and customer complaint workflows. Um, and I know at the end we'll, we'll provide some information. If anyone's interested in seeing those or getting more information on what they look like, we'd love to show you. So here's an example of the corrective action workflow. It's what the actual instance within Qualtrics looks like. As I said before, anything you can flow chart out, and this is what it looks like in the builder. Um, so it functions much like um, Microsoft Visio and, and flow charting things. You can see, you can do a complex flow or a very simple flow, a flow that loops back on itself or one that kicks off another flow altogether. 
things that need to be completed after one or two necessary steps to lots of steps that branch off into really complex um, structures. So when you don't have a system in place, it's hard to know where things stand, especially the more complex um, ones. And so if you have a system, again, it's very easy and clean to see what's happening at every step, where the, where the workflow sits, who it sits with, and what the necessary actions to complete the process are. So I talked at the beginning a little bit about how this plays obviously very much into the accreditation piece of a QMS and it ties so tightly together, but obviously good quality, you don't necessarily have to be an accredited organization. So our customers here at Qualtrics for the most part are, but we wanted to share a little bit about how that those two things play together beyond what I've already talked about. Um, centralizing data is a piece we've hit on a lot, but when it comes to audit, it's obviously incredibly critical. Um, less time tracking down paperwork or searching for documents that an auditor is asking for, having a central repository so that there isn't the chance of people having different things um, plays directly into to audit, obviously. Um, you can trust when you're using a system like Qualtrics that having your documentation tied to certain parts of the standard and running a gap analysis report ahead of time and prep for the audit can reduce time dramatically and you'll have a sense of if there's any gaps. Um, being able to reduce that prep time not only saves time, but also saves cost. Um, we've had customers tell us that they cut their audit prep from two to three to four months down to two to three to four days just by using the system because everything is centralized. Um, no more flipping through binders. And if any of you have frequent audits, whether internal or external or from customers or, or vendors, um, you can use it for all of that. And those, those audit preps can take so much time. Um, reducing risk also tends to be one of the areas that's really hit on with executives when it comes to um, accreditation. Uh, for those of you familiar with 9001 and the 2015 transition, you know that executives are tied a lot more in the standard to compliance and needing to be aware of quality and that continuous improvement. So being able to feel confident that all levels of your organization have a clear sense of quality, you can really mitigate the risk um, for the entire organization. So um, being able to have everyone aware and sign off on quality policies so that you can have them adopt and acknowledge and understand is also putting employees beyond your quality management or quality assurance department or your executives to a place where they're really understanding what quality looks like overall, what continuous improvement looks like, and that quality culture becomes a normal thing versus quality being a nuisance or an annoyance for someone outside of QA. So at Qualtrics, we've seen an example of this within our own organization. Um, we saw customers' needs for a different way of using our solution, and we noticed some recurring opportunities for improvement, which drove us to ultimately implement our hosted platform. Um, so the idea was not mandated by our management, but it actually bubbled up from various individuals within the organization who saw a clear way to improve what we had to offer to some of our customers who are struggling with their IT departments, or frankly, were struggling just to get time from their IT departments to help them manage their quality. Um, so our host offering is a great way for your organization to get it up and running quickly, have amazing support, and have a system that's always up to date um, with the latest versions and things like that without having to burden IT or find, you know, find a way to get in front of them. So as I'm kind of wrapping up, um, I'm, I am going to tell you a little bit about one of our customers and how they leveraged Qualtrics within their organization. A little bit of a shameless plug to kind of wrap up here about Qualtrics, but I think it shows really well and, and the quotes we have from one of our users, Shane, is a really good indication of, of how people can utilize a system like ours. Um, so VPT is a customer who manufactures and designs converters that are in some way used in you know, very highly regulated and important industries. <laughs> and I know personally, I like knowing that a company providing parts for the airplanes that I fly on have a good quality system in place and have good processes. <laughs> um, so VPT has a really great story because as they grew their headcount as an organization and grew their business because of having Qualtrics in place, they didn't have to grow their quality department. 
So when we're talking about saving time and cutting costs and reducing risk, I mean, it clearly plays into all of those areas of compliance, but it also can just help with headcount. And, and I mean, obviously that ties to costs, but being able to really keep things cleanly managed um, is something we haven't talked as much about. Um, and this is due, obviously, to the automation that Qualtrics has and takes care of from an administrative component. So Shane shared a couple quotes with us. Um, the first one is, the more efficient and organized I can be using tools like Qualtrics, the better my day goes. I'm sure he's not alone if there's other, you know, quality managers or quality assurance folks on the line chasing down people within your business and asking them to do quality-based tasks is not always the most fun thing. Um, and ultimately, being able to have a system that streamlines that process and encourages people to engage in quality in an easy way uh, has definitely helped VPT. They also shared, we have Qualtrics at each manufacturing and screening workstation. Operators can view any manufacturing document required instantly. The most up-to-date version is always available in the system. Obsolete versions are deleted once a new version is published. So for VPT, everyone staying on the same page is really important for them. Um, now, VPT's process is to delete, keep in mind, uh, others' processes might be to keep, you know, five years worth of revisions. That's okay, too. Whatever your process is, is fine with us. But the idea that VPT was able to maintain and reduce risk of error by having everyone use one system to keep track of their uh, documents was really important. And it was really neat that he shared that with us. And lastly, you know, um, he mentioned part number assignments and updates are routed via a workflow and then managed by document control. And this is the first step for generating traceability. For us, we love knowing that there are so many ways to use our system and it can be implemented within organizations. The flexibility of Qualtrics allows for that and we're consistently learning from our own users the best way to leverage the system. And so, on that note, I will wrap up um, and share with you all that I appreciate you taking the time. Um, my email is there at the bottom. Again, I'm Katie. I'm the business development manager here at Qualtrics. Mark's email is there as well. And if you're interested in getting to see, you know, more of the actual functionality of the product or hear about some of our other customer use cases, we'd love to share that with you. Um, feel free to get in touch with either of us. Um, and thank you for your time. So I will turn it back over to Mark and see if maybe we have any questions with the few minutes we have left. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. And yeah, in the comments section, we did have a couple of questions if uh, we have a couple moments left. So uh, the first one is specifically regarding uh, calibration and the processes. For those companies that actually make a, have calibration, machines, is there something that we can do in the processes that would help with that? Um, sure, absolutely. If, if I'm understanding, you know, definitely if there's a process around your calibrations, you can flowchart anything through our workflows or the process component of Qualtrics. So um, I know in some of our demo systems, we actually have some calibration workflows that other um, customers have shared with us. So if anyone's interested or whoever asked the question, if they want to see a demonstration of that, uh, we'd be more than happy to show them that. But yes, anything you can flow or process, you can put within the workflows. Perfect. And the final question that is here in the comment section is, can we preclude certain individuals from actually seeing documents within the Qualtrics system? Absolutely. Yeah, that's exactly how the system is designed to be utilized. Um, it's a role-based system, so different uh, roles within an organization can see documents differently, process, edit. Some can edit, some can't. Some can approve, some can't. Um, and same thing with workflows. So any areas of the system that you want to lock down can be done. I think you know, VPT is a great example of that with having documents on workstations. Um, those obviously are not a document that someone can edit but simply can view versus, you know, the person in quality assurance or quality management might be actually editing the document but flowing it through to get approved by senior leadership or, or, or folks, other folks within the organization. So, yes, and if they're interested in seeing kind of how those privileges are set up, again, we'd be more than happy to show them a demonstration of that within the system. Perfect. Well, we are at time, so thank you everyone for coming out today and Hopefully, this answered a lot of your questions about how a quality management system works and benefits manufacturers. Have a great day and best of luck.